Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the ancient secret of eternal youth, the fountain of youth, the five Tibetan rites. So Peter Keller went around the world to find the secret of youth and he discovered it in the mountains of Tibet where he stayed with monks. There are five rites. So start with doing each rite maximum five times and then gradually build up. Every day add two. So go from five to seven to nine to 11 until you reach 21. This is a very powerful exercise. It will help to, to balance the energetic centers. It will help to strengthen your spine and give you overall body strength. So the first ride is spinning. We're going to spin around the right foot. So you fix your eyes on something solid, keep your arms wide, and then you look at that point where you fix your eyes for as long as you can, like ballerinas do, and then you spin around. So we do five of these spinning. This helps to balance these energetic centers. They are spinning vortexes of energy and just help to restore any imbalances there and help them to spin and synchronize in harmony, helping to improve their overall health and well-being. So left foot, keep the right foot still, spin around. And look at your point again. So five of these. All right, let's do one more. Okay, and then stand still for a while, just finding your balance, finding your ground with your feet firmly rooting down. Close your eyes for a moment and just observe how you feel. For those who find it challenging to spin, the same effect can be achieved by just swinging from side to side. Let your arms swing freely and then here also, just five times to each side. All right? So then after this exercise, we're going to lay down. So laying down on your mat. So laying down and take a few breaths here as you rest here. Just observe the spine, the effect of the spinning, the first right on your heart and your lungs. Second right, so you're going to lift the head and then raise the legs. To start off, I would suggest that you, when you lift the head, bend the knees and then straighten the legs. And then on the exhalation, you lower the legs down. And then you relax the head and you take a deep breath in. While you bend, lift the head, bend the knees, straighten the legs and lower the legs down. So first group, bend the knees. Second group, make sure to protect your back. You lift your head before you raise the legs. So you inhale and exhale. And exhale, so moving with the breath. On the exhalation, we come down. On the inhalation, we lift up. Hold it for a while and exhale. Let's do once more. Inhale, lift the head, bend or raise the legs. Hold and exhale, lower the legs and relax the head. And then take a few moments here. So this right, the second right, help to strengthen the core, the abdominal muscles, tone the neck muscles. Also, all these rights improve the, the throat energetic center, the Shuddha chakra, the fifth one. So take a moment, checking in, observing how you feel. Right, and now you can hug your knees, roll to your side, and from here, we're going to come up for the third ride, which is very much like the camel. So you bring your That's the problem when you do recordings of animals. If we bring our hands on our waist and you draw the elbows together to widen under the collarbones, draw the elbows together and turn your toes under. There's a few options here with first group. I would suggest that you come down into child pose. Then let your hands can rest by your side. You take a few breaths here just to rest after the first ride. So resting pose. 
and then we come up and you can stay here where you just tuck your chin in onto your chest and as you inhale you lift, you open your heart, you look up to the sky and you do it like a back bend. Push the thighs forwards and lift your belly button into your spine. And as you exhale, you bring the chin back onto your, to your chest, breathing in. Lift, lengthen and open the heart, expand the sky. If you wish, you can also go back in child and come up from here. Exhale, you come down, inhale. You lift, you open your heart, you look up to the sky. Exhale, coming down. Inhale. Lift, open, expand the chest. Exhale, down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Once you're done, you're five. Just rest your hands in front of you or by your side for a moment, just observing how you feel, feeling to the effect of the heart, the upper belly. And then when you're ready, you can slowly uncoil and come out. Okay, and then for the fourth ride, you come back sitting. sitting. So you bring your hands in line with your bum. But to start off, I found it easier if you take it slightly back. And we're going to use the feet here. We're going to bend the knees. This will strengthen the legs and the arms, and it will open all these energy centers. So we're going to, make sh to play around, explore with the position of your hand. Uh, it's recommended that you keep your fingers facing forwards, but some of us have different rotation in our shoulders. And it's all about skeleton variations. to so see what works for you. So hands wherever in that angle of pointing forwards. So you're going to press into the feet and the hands and as you inhale, you're going to lift up, lift your bum off the floor and you let your head draw back if your neck is fine. If not, keep the chin chucked in. And then from there we straighten the legs and we push the bum through the hands. And then again, inhale, you come up, you lift your hips high, your head draw back and exhale, go forwards. Inhale, lift. And exhale, slide your bum through. Inhale and lift. Exhale, bum slide through. Inhale and lift. And exhale. Last one, inhale and lift. And exhale. Right, you can relax back on your mat if you wish, or you can just stay seated here. Take a moment to check and observe how does that land for you? Where does it, what does it feel like? Can you feel the vibration, how it awakens your spine? And we can come up for the last ride. This is from down walk to up dog. So if you're new to this and you can't do downward dog yet, then I would suggest that you stay here and then just coming forwards with your, your bum in the air, sliding forwards into your cobra. Exhale, go forwards, inhale, and exhale. Right, first group, second group. You go from dog with your toes turned under, and then you can either bring your knees down and go up into your cobra, or you can go flicking over your toes. Inhale, lift, exhale, come forwards, look up to the sky, Inhale, tuck your chin in. Go back into dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift. The inhalation creates an upliftment. Move with that. Exhale, go forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale. And then when you're done your five, you slide your palm back towards your heels and take a little rest. You feel the vibration along the spine and the effect on your heart. Thank you for practicing with me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And may I just add, 
the first time when I done this exercise, I was just qualified as a yoga teacher and done a lot of yoga every day. So I thought do the, ex the right 21 times. But trust me, I felt nauseous for three days. So start with the maximum of five rights and then gradually build up. And if five is too much, three is fine. Always work at your own ability, and honor and respect your body. If you can do this for 21 days, you will notice a significant change in your body strength, your energy levels, and your overall well-being. So I challenge you, do this for 21 days and let us know how you get on. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.